peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous. Today we're going to make this a custom sign. And I'm going to be painting it, so stick around to see how we made it. So we are going to use and update our Project Anonymous logo in Inkscape from our previous embroidery video. Go ahead and check that out after this video. First thing we'll be doing is getting rid of the words and background because we won't need those parts for this project. The next step will be turning the parts of this logo that are black into a different color because eventually all of the different parts of the logo will be black. We do this because our laser software does a better job on images that are black and white. Once we are satisfied with our design, we will export it from Inkscape as a PNG file and import it into our laser engraving software, LXMaker Evolution Desktop. We have set up our engraving so it will only engrave the outline of our design. Lastly, we can size up our engraving, preview the laser limits, and start engraving. Now that we have the outline engraved, we can go cut it out on the bandsaw. Right. We need to decide how big we want the outer circle to be. Yeah. I don't think that it should be smaller than it. No, it, it should be huge. Yeah, it should be about this big. We need big. a tape measure. So I don't think it needs to be like huge, but just kind of about two inches, no, and probably an inch and a half away from each part of the circle. Probably be like that, right? Maybe more like... Being smaller? Yeah. yeah. So we're going with about a foot. Okay. Alright, so let's go measure and then make a jig to cut a circle on the bandsaw. Okay. So to make a perfect circle out of this wood here, that's going to be our backboard for our sign. Uh, we're going to make a little simple jig where we're just going to make a hole and a pivot and then we can just spin the piece of wood around and it will cut it at our perfect circle. But we have to make this jig first and to get that right uh, we just need to measure the distance to the center of this hole. Oh isn't this in the intro? <laughs> Let's get the right drill bit. in here. Now that's our pivot point. So now we will use a table saw to cut a 12 inch by 12 inch square of this 
find the middle of that, drill a hole, and put it on this pivot point, and then we just spin this around on this little jig. Pretty simple. Let's do it. Now we're just going to find center. Right there's our center mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out a slightly bigger hole because it kind of doesn't matter. So my drill press is too small. I can't get the distance between here. So I can't drill out the hole in the middle. Let's try this again. Clean up the hole real quick. So now, we can spin it around that pivot point, and we're just going to use some double sided tape on our uh, bandsaw. We're going to find the shortest side. We have a perfect circle. And it looks like this is already a perfect square. Between, oh, there's a shorter side. Now I can take this down. Now we got a perfect circle. And this will be covered up by our design. Something like that? Yeah. Time to go to the garage? Time to do some sanding in the garage and glue it down, or are you gonna paint it first? Um, paint it first just so it's a little bit neater so like I don't get some of the paint on this. Um, did you want the background to be black or like stained? It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Rock, paper, scissors, who decides? Rock. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I guess Press I decide? Three? Oh, I want to... Okay, you decide. Um... Let's go with stain for the background. It's gonna look really nice. Let's get sanding. Now we gotta decide where it's gonna lay out and glue it down. Mm -hmm. Wait, aren't we gonna paint it first? What? I thought we were gonna paint it first. Oh, then you gotta paint. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the paint. Okay. So I got all the paint. I am going to use the same gel stain we used on the other project we did.
So we just placed it, all the little pieces on the wood. Now we need to glue it down. I think the best way to do it is just do one little piece at a time so it stays right where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Let me get the glue. Doesn't have to be super glued down because it's not load bearing or anything. It's just here, you know what I mean? Now we just wait that dry. Let's put some weight on it though. Can you put more weight on it? Let's just leave it alone, okay? Don't touch it. Let it dry. Okay, guys. So now let's unveil the project. Okay. Turn it nice, huh? Well, don't drop it. It looks so cool. This is what it would look like on a wall. It didn't dry very clear though. Looks like snot. Oh, it's not completely dry yet. Oh. But. You scrape it off. It looks so cool. Yeah, nice job on the painting. I like the brush detail. Thanks. Okay. Where do you want to hang it? I don't know. Out here? Okay. Okay, guys. Now we're going to get ready to hang it. In order to do so, we need to put a little hanger on the back. Let's do that. If you have any questions or comments about how we did our project, go ahead and drop it down below. Please like this video if you like this video. Or just like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Or just subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. Stay crafty! And be happy!